Hey, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is our week word, and I really want to apologize for not coming your way last week, which was supposed to be the ending of um, the week word for the week of or the month of hope, which is the month of October. But now in the month of November, which we are going to continue somewhat in hope, but we're going to subtitle that Thanksgiving. And in this month of November, we have somewhat like a continuation of what we were discussing out of Romans chapter 8, verse Romans chapter 5, verse 5, that says that um, hope does not disappoint because the love of God is shed abroad in your heart and also my heart. So welcome to week word week 42 and 43 or 43 and 44. Um, but we are getting to the end of the year. Remember that this is a year of 53 weeks and we already have 42 weeks. My God, God is good. God is faithful. And I rejoice the, for the fact that you are still alive hearing the sound of my voice. Well, hope does not make ashamed because the love of God is shed abroad in our heart. How can that be so? Hope works by understanding that you have a divine promise over your head. Now, hopelessness is a situation that people face every now and again. But hopelessness is not actually a big deal. Hopelessness is not actually a powerful situation. I mean, I could say categorically that there's no situation that is hopeless. Hope in and of itself is not intimidated in the face of hopelessness. From what I'm beginning to discover of recent, hope we always produce regardless of how hopeless the situation is. So you remember that, for example, the children of Israel were you know, enveloped by horrible situation to the point that behind them, we are coming the armies of Egypt by their side where the mountains that they couldn't climb and before there was the Red Sea. But you know how the story ended. Eventually, God made a way. So it doesn't matter. And somebody is having um, a hopeless situation right now. But the, the reason I'm coming your way in this week world for this week is to let you know that you don't need to resign to giving up on hope and telling yourself there's no way out, this can happen, this is how I'm going to end. Let me write my will and just, just wait on death whenever death comes. You, you can resign from saying that to saying that wait one minute. If there's a way God made a way, in the wilderness, even when there was no way, that same God is my God and he can make a way for me. Oh, you remember us of the Apostles chapter 12, I made reference to that in one of my teachings. And I said that Peter was captured and was going to be killed the next day. The church prayed for Peter, but by, by the time the next day came and Herod went to the prison to bring out the Peter that he was captured, Peter was already gone. And that was a hopeless situation. There was no way I can come out of this prison. The prison was protected, but hope does not despair in the face of hopelessness. You need to engage hope. You know, all, all that I'm saying collaborates to Romans chapter 5, verse 5, that hope does not make a shame. Another translation will say it does not disappoint. So once you embrace hope, regardless of how hopeless your situation is, guess what? You will not be disappointed. Listen, let me tell you, since this word began even up till now, hope has never disappointed anybody, all right? But you don't miss hope with fear. You don't miss hope with fear. Fear is always a puncturer. Fear will always puncture what hope is trying to build. So when hope is trying to build a solution for you, a way out for you, fear will make that impossible. So, but because some people are saying, but I always, I, I, I hoped that this was going to turn around. I don't know why it didn't turn around. Most of those people, at the same time, accommodated fear. And those two don't work together. They don't work together. If you have fear in your heart, you are making hope in a, in a, unable to function. So for your hope to be able to function, you have to do the good fight, and it is called the good fight of faith. What is the good fight of faith? Rising up with every strength inside of you and with the help of God to make sure that fear is completely eradicated out of your life. If you can do that, hope, faith, and love 
will be functioning for you. Love you. See you next week. Bye-bye now.